hello everyone welcome to yarpedia global so today in this video i am going to discuss study abroad topic on one country that is basically germany so there are many queries which students share with me sir i am basically from the electronics background i am basically from the instrumentation background i am from the electrical background but sir i don't want to carry my research in my core domain i wanted to explore my core domain but with the aid of some technology with the aid of some tool so what is the best possible you know opportunity for that that to with a very good university so in india we talk about iits earlier there were seven old iit now we have 20 plus iit so there is a cluster of premier institution right so similarly if we talk about germany so there is again one cluster which we call the tu9 so there is basically group of university and many of them are very highly qs ranked university and even more than the iits of india including the old iit of india so many of them like rwth and tu munich they also take the admissions through gate score you don't need to write gre if you are going for masters there so today in this video i am going to discuss with you all if you are coming from electronics electrical instrumentation still how you can apply into some innovative research area how you can grab that opportunity to work with those professor so starting ahead you can see i am starting my discussion with tum dot mobility so it is basically interdisciplinary research platform at the technical university of munich so you can see the area research area if it's visible to you all it encompasses eight key a topic area the very first is urban mobility in today's time we see lot of innovative research is going in the town planning transportation construction and you know urban planning etc so if you want to contribute into that domain and you hold some prior research experience in that area and you are looking for some phd position under some good supervisor with excellent funding with some highly qs ranked university so that is tum munich here the very first area urban mobility mobility behavior and system analysis you will be doing here then second you can see low carbon power systems many time basically student are you know they want to work in the power engineering they have a excellent projects in the power engineering power engineering means combining of the power electronics and power system most of the master specialization in india either they are in the power electronics power system or either they are in the power engineering now what additional efforts they can put to make it you know in such a way it solve the industry issue or real world issue and you know i don't need to tell what is the impact of carbon issues and currently how much basically heat our industry is facing because of this so you can see second project is low carbon power system electro mobility and alternative fuels if you want to explore this domain under this tum you will get tum mobility you will find this research area also and third is autonomous driving artificial intelligence and human machine interfaces recently you might have seen in many of the iit including iit kanpur they are now starting this kind of specialization in the india where basically we are focused more on the unmanned aerial vehicle and this kind of the autonomous driving and all right but if you see on the global stage there is a lot of research already being done we are just uh, you know basically following those footprint so if you already believe you had some exposure in the master level related to this autonomous driving artificial intelligence and human machine interface and you want to basically take it one step beyond or one step next with the basically efforts of some supreme or some you know very reputed professor then tum mobility again is one of the great opportunity now moving forth integrated transportation system related to infrastructure and operation i told you already and the next is urban development networking and design of mobility system and then we have data traffic modeling and simulation in today's time you know data is everything right so we might be facing a lot of chaos and issue because of traffic and diesel system so how to channelize them how to make them efficient for that we need to understand first their pattern how they are happening and then only we are in position to predict some solution and model some solution for that if you are coming from the civil background if you are coming even from the electronics electrical background but you are well aware of those issue and you have some good hands on experience over the data engineering you know how to model the data how to make the inferences from the data and how to find solution to implement and to put the corrective measures for that issue then you are suitable candidate to explore this opportunity then mobile society then again management 
This is business models and entrepreneurship. Recently, way back, I was interacting with one student. He is basically from the electronics, but he got one MS position in the business analytics. So irrespective of you are coming from the electronics, electrical, if you have those KRA, key skill uh, or areas, right? Or I can say basically KSA. If you have the knowledge, skill and attitude regarding that specialization, I am sure you can make that transition very easily. Now, if you are interested into these area, what you need to do? You visit this website tum.mobility. You will find there in the right section list of all the professors who are contributing right now into these research area. So you can start making connection with those professor according to whom who is working in which area so that basically he will come across your profile and he can assess your credentials and if he find you suitable I am sure you will get the reply and rest is the succeeding stages there the mentors of your PDA global will be helping you in the best possible way and we are doing this since last three years and more than 200 plus students are sitting abroad and doing their PhD and MS with some highly questioned university. Now moving ahead, next many of you might be having interest in you know energy conversion processes. You are interested in the renewable sources of energy, you are interested in the photovoltaic domains and these kind of the area. Then again in TU Munich you can find that domain under the energy conversion process that is the e-conversions. It's clearly mentioned here the cluster e-conversion is exploring the underlying process in the conversion of renewable energies in photovoltaics, photocatalysis and battery. Researchers are working to reduce energy losses occurring at the interfaces between the different material as a result of physical effects. These are very crucial for the efficiency of the energy conversion. You see in today's time we are producing the energy and population is increasing day by day. How are we in position to do a proper trade-off between the energy and requirement? No. So without increasing the production, how you can optimize that? That is the only by reducing the losses. So if you have some preliminary research experience in the energy domain, energy studies, renewable energy, power system, power engineering, I am sure you might be well aware of this area and this is one of the suitable and tailor-made position for you people, right? Now moving ahead, next we have one more interesting and promising field that is Munich Center for Quantum Science and Technology. It is basically, you know, in today's time, in India, if I ask which research area you want to go, quantum technology is basically the technology of the coming centuries, right? So you can see earlier when we were discussing about the all the kind of permutation and combination we were taking only into the consideration that was the charge of particle. But we forget that, you know, particle also do have the mass. So why can't we explore the mass property of that charge particle? So journey begins from here and now it's leading towards a very big industrial revolution in the coming era. So if you are interested in the quantum technology, quantum computing, then yes, you have one Munich Center for Quantum Science and Technology there, right? So then we have now the biggest issue is, sir, how to get basically scholarship and things. You can see here clearly. Let me basically do it like this one. Okay, I hope this is clear now, right? The biggest issue when we go for the international education, that is the scholarship and funding. And you all know for Germany, DART scholarship is one of the very prestigious and reputed organization uh, scholarship. But apart from DART, if you visit the respective website of the TUM, you will find these all opportunities there, scholarship and grants for the stay abroad. Because it's not like that to complete that particular course only. It may happen that you are completing your PhD in the Munich, but you want to shift or you want to make a, make a mobility to some other nation for some thesis, for some internship, for some other things, right? They all are considered or they all will be paid and they all are covered the scholarship opportunity and there are various modes for that in the TUM on all the TU9 that respective information you can find on the university website you can see basically they had mentioned Erasmus plus scholarship promos and scholarship for equal opportunity TUM exchange participant then you may find these DART scholarship Stepens Plus, Rotary Foundation Scholarship, Association of the German Foundation, German National Academic Foundation, federally funded student financial aid. So there are so many more ways apart from the DART. DART is one of the very popular and prestigious, but beyond that we have multiple scholarship. And then you can see they also had mentioned country wise. If you visit their website there, they have mentioned regional wise for which country, what all financial aid opportunity they are giving. You just click on the India, you will find the multiple options there. So guys, concluding so financial constraints are not the barrier exams are not required for the phd the only thing is your ksa your knowledge skill and attitude and your aspiration 
so this is basically a brief video which i made regarding the tu and munich and i try to cover those area where specifically the student from electronics can go student from electrical can go they might be you know some offshoot area but ultimately in energy you will be entirely working on the power system power engineering right in base in case of the mechatronics you will be entirely working on the robotics you will be entirely working on the deep learning artificial intelligence and these all kind of stuff they may be uh, you know slightly off shoot but they are interdisciplinary and we know if you want to do something really impactful which adds something next value to the existing research library then you can't do it relying in only single code you need to basically take the help of the other energies other technologies and other domains and then it becomes the interdisciplinary so like this i will keep on making some videos like these uh, promising and innovating or emerging area in different global university where you can pursue your you know aspiration of completing your research in these promising area so that's it from this tu and munich if you want any more detail you can put in the comment section we will try to take that and consider that and cover that in the next coming video till then thank you